Hello all, I am Dr. Prabhas Chandranbal. In today's class, we will discuss about one more example of LR0 grammar. Okay, see the grammar. Verify, verify the grammar, verify the grammar is LR0 or not. Okay, so we will check this grammar is LR0 or not without using construction of LR0 table. Okay, without using construction of LR0 table. Okay. Now we'll add the augmented grammar here. Now we'll add the augmented grammar here. So S prime to S, S to A, S to small a, then A to Okay, so here S prime to dot S. Now we'll find the closure of S. So closure of S is S to dot A and S to dot S. Now we'll find the closure of A. So A to dot Okay, now it will scan S, A, and it will scan A. S means S prime to S dot. Then S to A dot. Then S to a dot here and a to a dot. So now we just make the number. This is I zero. This is I one. This is I two. This is I three. Okay. So I one completed, I two completed, I three completed. Okay, so this is the final LR0 items. Okay, now we'll check. Now we'll check this grammar is LR0 or not. See, uh, I1 set contains only one, contains only one uh, prediction. I2 set contains only one prediction. See, in I3 state, see, I3 state, A to A dot, this is the complete prediction, and A to A dot, this is also the complete prediction. That means what? What is the RR conflict? What is the rule of RR conflict? Just see. RR conflict rule is A to alpha dot and B to gamma dot. So here, here means alpha means what? A. Here gamma means what? It is also A. So A to A dot is a complete production and A to A dot is a complete production. So I3 state contains what? R R conflict. R R conflict. Since I three state contains one conflict, means R R conflict. So this grammar is not L R zero. This grammar is not L R zero. As well as unambiguous. Unambiguous. Oh, sorry. This is ambiguous. This is ambiguous. Because since the grammar is not LR0, so the grammar is ambiguous. Okay. So now we'll see one more example. So the grammar is LR0 or not. Just see one more example. This is one more example. Verify the grammar is LR0 or not. Okay. Now we'll add, now we'll add the augmented grammar production. S prime to dot S, then S to A, A, then S to A, A, then A to A. Okay, see. S prime to dot S. 
Now we'll find the closure of S. Let's see the closure of S. S2 dot A and S2 dot A. A. Now we'll find the closure of A because here it will scan A. So A2 what dot Now, this is S, S prime to S dot. Then it will scan A, S to A dot A. Now we'll find the closure of A. So A to dot Okay, now here it will scan A and S to A dot A. So A to A dot. Now we'll see, find the closure of A, A to dot. Okay, just make the number. This is I0, this is I1, this is I2, this is I3. Sorry. This is I3. So I1 set is completed now. This is A, this is A. A is to A. A dot A to A dot This is I four this is I five then here it will scan A means S to A A dot Then here it will scan also small a a to a dot. So s to a this is i six state see a to a dot it is repeated means i five. Okay, so i four is completed i five completed i six completed i five is repeated. Okay, stop here. No need to explore the larger item okay now we'll check now we'll check this uh, grammar is lr0 or not i1 states i1 state contain only one production see in i2 state there is no ship sr config or rr config in i3 state s1 sr config is there this is a complete action and this is the shift action this is shift action this is a reduced action. So I3 state contains A sir config. I4 state single, I5 I5 state contains single production, I6 state contains single production, I5 state also contains single production. So finally, since one state contains A sir config, so this grammar is not LR0. So the grammar is not LR0. And it is also ambiguous. This grammar is also ambiguous. Okay. So in the next class, we'll also discuss one more one more examples of uh, means uh, SR conflict and RR conflict in uh, LR0 grammar. Okay. Thanks for watching.